Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. shooting suspect be held with Alban. This as a prosecutor says a witness said one of the victims was shot while he was sleeping. 22 year old University of Virginia shooting suspect Christopher Darnell Jones Jr. faced a judge today on multiple murder charges and two counts of malicious wounding. The judge denying bond. At the hearing it was revealed that Jones was charged and convicted of a reckless driving and hit and run in 2021 along with the concealed weapons charge the same year. He was arrested on all three charges at the same time. So, although the charges occurred at different times, none of those charges occurred at a time when he was serving or on a condition of suspended sentence in good behavior. Right now, UVA officials facing critical questions about whether more could have been done to prevent this tragedy. Officials admit that during the course of an investigation into allegations of hazing, a student reported that the suspect told him he had a gun, but the student said he never actually saw the weapon. Officials also discovered that the alleged shooter broke school policy by not reporting the criminal weapons conviction. Jones was on a field trip Sunday night with fellow UVA students when he allegedly shot five of his fellow classmates, killing three football players, Devin Chandler, Lavelle Davis, and Deshaun Perry, and injuring two others, Michael Hollins and Marley Morgan. I was scared that with all the shots that were fired, he had shot everyone on the bus. So I thought he was going to shoot me too. Ryan Lynch was on that bus. To my knowledge, they did not know him. Um, the only thing is that they were on the football team. Meanwhile, the community still reeling from the deadly shooting. UVA football coach Tony Elliott says he and the players are still in shock. I'm ready for somebody to pinch me and, and wake me up and say that this didn't happen. The school also announced that it was canceling its final home game of the season that was scheduled for the weekend. In the newsroom, Alexis Frazier, Local 10 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.